know for a lot of us, the music of supergroups like Boston and Journey have been the soundtracks of our lives. And coming up on Saturday, May 21st, at the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center in Greenville, you'll be able to relive all the mega hits of Boston and Journey during a very special concert. And this morning, we want to welcome the lead singer of Boston since 2007, Tommy DiCarlo, to Daytime Tri-Cities. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning, Chris. How are you? I am fantastic. Uh, it's, it's an honor to talk with you. Talk to us about your journey to becoming the singer for Boston. Well, in a nutshell, I was a fan since I was about 12 years old. And uh, after listening to their debut album, I don't know who wasn't a fan of Boston, really. And um, years later, uh, you know, I began to sing the music of Boston as I got a little bit older. And it was just something I did as a hobby, something I did for fun. And then uh, back in 2007, of course, after the uh, unfortunate death of Brad Delp, um, I posted a couple of tribute songs uh, to the band um, on a MySpace page I had at the time. And um, my daughter suggested that I send those songs to the band Boston uh, just as a way to say, hey, thank you for the great music. I've always been a big fan. And, and uh, I went ahead and did that, never thinking in a million years that those two recordings, uh, those two Boston cover recordings would make their way to Tom Scholl's. Tom, of course, the founding member of the band Boston, and which they did. And um, he contacted me shortly thereafter and invited me to sing at the uh, Brad Delp tribute show that was being uh, put together at the time. And this was in August of 2008, and, um, or 2007, rather. And um, so ever since then, uh, after that show, Tom invited me on the first tour, which was in 2008. And, um, you know, what, 12, 13 years later, I'm still with the band and uh, I'm as surprised uh, as I ever been with the band uh, to, to think that they took me on board to, uh, you know, to sing the music of Boston. So that's basically in a nutshell, Chris, how that happened. And tell our viewers about the show that's coming up in Greenville. You have uh, the Boston set list, but you also have a very special band backing you up as well. Yeah, we do. We actually have um, a, a couple of members of uh, the Dennis DeYoung Band. And, um, uh, of course, we have August Sadra, and um, uh, we have Mike Morales on drums, and uh, we have just a wonderful group of musicians behind us. And uh, we're going to be performing the music of Boston. Um, of course, this isn't a Boston show, but we're going to be performing the music of Boston. And uh, opening the show is going to be uh, Rudy Cardenas, um, finalist for American Idol some years back, who does an incredible job uh, performing the music of Journey. So uh, those two bands, I don't think you can go wrong. Journey in Boston, it's just a one-two punch of uh, classic rock hits that everybody's going to remember. And do you get a lot of folks that come up, you know, my age or, you know, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older, that Boston and Journey really were the soundtracks of their life? Yeah, you know, we do, Chris. Actually, one of the, the, the things that uh, makes me feel the most proud when I'm on stage when I'm doing this music is to have the moms and dads that are my age come out with their younger kids and they're enjoying the show. So it's, um, it's just amazing to, to see this music after all these years, you know, the, the staying power of, of the amazing you know hits of both boston and journey being performed all the all these years later after they were recorded and people are still enjoying them and they still want to hear them so that makes it exciting for us as a band to go out and, and perform these shows and my last question and it's a toughie but it's like asking you who your favorite child is but what is your favorite boston song to perform every single song on the record <laughs> on, on actually every boston record <laughs> That's a diplomatic answer. Uh, I'm not going to hold you to any one song, but there are, you know, there's, there's so many classic hits there. I mean, for me, it'd probably be more than a feeling. You know, that is a great tune, Chris. Yeah. Um, that, that's one of my favorites. But truthfully speaking, especially on the debut album, there isn't a song on there that I don't love and enjoy to perform. So uh, although a diplomatic answer it really is true, I love every song that Tom Scholz has written for the band Boston, and that's what makes me a fan today. All right. Tommy DiCarlo, thank you for taking a few minutes with us today. We appreciate it.
Thank you, Chris. We look forward to seeing you soon. All right. They're going to be right there at the Impact in Greenville. The music of Boston and Journey is coming up May 21st, 7.30 p.m. Tickets are available. Go to the website you see right there on the screen.